another video. So I know it's been like a month since I have uploaded on my channel. Um, I have filmed videos, at least three videos, and none of them have turned out like I wanted them to. So there has been no video, but I'm gonna get back on track, hopefully, you know. Um, but I'm back today with a haul of some things that I've gotten over the past month, two months maybe. Um, and I filmed this video previously and I didn't like how it turned out and now I have more stuff to add to it. So it'll be some beauty related stuff, some skincare, um, some wedding related stuff, and there's makeup, there's just a bunch of random stuff. So we are going to get right into it. Start with um, the makeup item. So I got some stuff from Ulta, MAC, and Target, I think. A lot of this stuff I've used already because like I said, I filmed this video previously, did not like it. And I was just like, I need this stuff. So <laughs> a lot of this stuff is not in the packaging anymore. This thing is this Estee Lauder primer and it is the smoother primer. Now this is the first time that I've used this, um, well, you know, since I purchased it, but I was previously using the Becca Evermatte Poreless Primer and I loved it. But um, when I went to Ulta, they were out of it. So the lady recommended that this Estee Lauder one and y'all, this stuff is bomb. Like, um, this stuff is so bomb. And my skin is breaking out right now. And even with that, like, it still lays smoothly. Like, I feel like this helps me lay, like, really smooth, even with the breakouts that I have going on. Um, so I love this stuff. And I think that this will be my new primer. Um, the next thing is a repurchase is the Tarte Tape Shape. And I get it in the color Tan Sand. And this is just a um, concealer that I've always liked. So I just repurchased it just to have it my vanity. Um, and then another repurchase is the Born This Way um, Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. And this is my second time purchasing this and I love this. And again, this has been in my makeup bag so it's not in the package, but I get it in the, um, the color I get it in the color Warm Sand, and I love this concealer. I need to repurchase the foundation because um, I really like those two together. But it's a good, like, full coverage, creamy concealer. And these two are similar in the textures that they have and, like, the coverage they provide. But I like both of them kind of for different reasons, if that makes sense. Like, the Born This Way is more of an everyday concealer, but I can build it up or let it sit, you know, to be a little bit more full coverage. Um... And the tape shape is just like always thick. Like it's, you know, you want coverage, tape shape will give it to you. Um, I mean, the same same with Born This Way, but like I said, I, I feel more comfortable using this every day because it's not as thick as tape shape. And then another repurchase is this NYX Micro Brow Pencil, which I love. And I get this in the color Chocolate. I got my eyebrows tinted. Um, last time I got them done, so I haven't been having to use an eyebrow pencil, but this is still holy grail. Like, I will never stray away <laughs> from the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. Um, it's, like, really fine, so it gets those hair strokes, and it's just bomb. And then another thing that I got from Ulta is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy um, Highlighter. And, y'all, this stuff is so pretty. Um, Xavier and I actually just got back from a free session for engagement photos and I wore this highlighter and it was pretty bomb. Um, which was the first time I like actually wore it out in public, but um, so I don't know if y'all can see, it's probably washed out with the lighting, but yeah, so this, there, hold on, I need to get it. There you go. So yeah, you can see how pretty it is. So pretty. So yeah, like I said, I wore it today and pretty bomb pretty bomb and i love the packaging like this is gonna be so cute on the van on my vanity y'all i even filmed a video of me like building my vanity putting it together and the video was trash like so yeah like i said i've been filming it's just nothing has made it to youtube what's that
What? And then. <laughs> and then my um, last thing from Ulta, I think, is um, just this Real Technique sponge. And I love their body blenders. Um, I purchased two of these. I usually get like one or two every time I go. Not every time, but you know, every time I go. Um, and they just changed the color to this like cute pink grapefruit color, which is super cute. So the other one is in use in my makeup bag. But I love these. And my mom, <laughs> it's so funny because um, I remember my mom saying like, it's called a body blender. I'm like, but it literally, you can put your foundation on in like two seconds because it's so big. I mean, and it just blends like perfectly. So this is a holy grail. Like I will never not use this or at least have one, you know. So that is all from Ulta. And that's all from Ulta. And like I said, I have a few um, more makeup items. I went to MAC, which I haven't been there in a while. But my favorite blush, um, some of my favorite blushes are from there. So I went and purchased two blush. And the first blush um, that I purchased is Sweet as Cocoa. It's upside down. The first blush that I purchased is um, Sweetest Cocoa. And it's this really pretty dark blush. And I love this. Um, it's a nice shimmer blush. So like, for it's good for like daily use too. Like if you don't wanna do, you know, full face with highlighter and stuff, this has shimmer in it. So it kinda adds, y'all probably can hear Xavier and Denim in a room arguing. <laughs> Um, and then the second blush that I purchased is Ambering Rose, which is my favorite. And um, the next blush is Ambering Rose. So it's this really pretty pink, dark pink, dusty pink, whatever color pink you want to call it. And this is also another shimmering blush. Um, so again, like I said, it adds that, you know, subtle highlight if you don't want to go full blown highlight, but who doesn't want to wear highlight? So yeah, those are the two blushes or the two things that I got from MAC, which those are like Holy Grail products as well. And then I had seen a few YouTubers um, talk about or like always talk about the Sonya Kashuk um, Beauty Blender, but the small one. And now she has like a marbled one, but anyways. I saw this one, which is a body blender, and y'all know I like the Real Techniques one, so um, I wanted to try this, and I like that it's black, so I haven't opened it yet, obviously, but I'm going to try this really soon, and maybe in my next video, if I do a makeup-related video or something, I'll use it or update you guys on that, but I'm really excited to try it, and I like the shape because it has like that flat, you probably can't tell, but it has like this flat edge um, that's bigger than the Real Techniques, which flat edge is up here. So it looks like it'll be really precise because it's super pointy. So I'm excited to try that. So like I said, I got that from Target. And the, um, the last beauty item that I got is actually um, from a brand that my mom is an ambassador for. And that brand is Lip Sync Cosmetics. So let me see if y'all can see that. So I um, purchased this really pretty gloss from them and it has a really nice applicator. It's super creamy and smooth. So it's just like a nice, you probably can't tell, but it's just like a nice clear, but with like gold, rose gold type shimmer. And it feels like really good on the lips. I've worn it already. Um, Cause like I said, I've had this stuff for a while, but my videos have been a fail. Um, and then another random thing, but these makeup remover wipes from Walmart are the bomb. And I get the big two pack. All other makeup wipes either like irritate my skin, they burn, or just something, you know, it's just I don't like them. But the ones by Equate at Walmart are so bomb. And I literally can use like one, maybe two, depending on, you know, my makeup day. And have a full clean face with like no residue. Of course, I still wash my face, but random, but those are, <laughs> those are bomb. 
So that is the last makeup item, I think. Yeah, so that was the last makeup item. And then the next step will be skincare. So um, if you don't know, which I'm sure you know, but I'm getting married next summer. And one of my goals is to get my skin into tip top shape. Is to get my skin. Um, right now I'm breaking out, but I think they're stress related bumps because yeah, I've been kind of, you know, but yeah, so, and then I have a lot of hyper, hyper pigmentation and like old scarring from previous acne. So I want to kind of get rid of like all that if possible. I'm looking into going to an esthetician and, you know, just doing some different um, natural things to kind of lighten those scars and, you know, just be flawless as I can be for my wedding. Um, but I entered this giveaway, um, and this is a local brand to Oklahoma. Um, it's a skincare line. And so I entered this giveaway because I had really been wanting to try some of her products, but since my skin is so sensitive, I didn't want to spend money and then, you know, have a reaction and, you know, or not like the products or whatever. So, so I have been, you know, eyeing her products for a while, but, um, anyway, so she, So she had um, a giveaway. So I have been eyeing this for a while. And the brand is called um, Back to Eden Organics or BTE Organics. And she has this skin perfecting serum. Let's see if I can make it focus. And it is um, vitamin E oil, rose hip seed oil, organic rose hip, glycerin, jojoba oil, and lavender oil. And y'all, when I tell y'all, first of all, a little goes a long way like i have used this since i've gotten it and i got this after christmas and when i tell you my skin is like glowy and just soft and like supple and it just looks like healthy um after using this this stuff is like so bomb and i feel like this is gonna last me a long time because like i said you literally only need like a little drop since it's such a thick oil um you know it goes along with so i put it on at night and kind of just let it soak into my skin overnight but that stuff is bomb so when this runs out i definitely will be repurchasing and getting some more stuff from her line and then she was sweet enough to send some samples with that so she sent her um whipped body and hair oil which this stuff is bomb as well i like putting this on after the shower like i said at night because it's more it's a thicker consistency but it soaks into your skin and just you know be real nice and supple and then the last thing she included in there is this honey um, and shea face wash, foamy face wash. And this stuff is bomb as well. Like I said, just like having that honey and the shea in there is really... Samples right now, I definitely will be purchasing those because they are pretty, pretty bomb. And the next thing is from another um, small black-owned company. Lip Sync is a black owned business as well so is bte organics and then this next thing i'm going to show you is from another small black owned business and it is fitness wear so this is from my sister cousin <laughs> um i'll include everybody's information down below like links to um lip sync back to eden and then what i'm about to show you next and then i'll probably list what i talked about in the description box the next thing that I have is some workout apparel, and it is the brand Diamond Fit. So I bought this set in black. So this is the black set. Comes with the sports bra and the tights. So it has Diamond right there, her logo, and then it has Diamond Fit, which is her brand name. Oh, hold on. And has diamond fit her brand name down each leg and when i tell y'all these are so bomb and like so comfortable and they don't roll down um and especially being like a thicker girl and and tall tights are like hit or miss especially um 
like workout tights or if they're meant to be high waisted, they're never high waisted. But like having this band on there and like it doesn't roll down, they're just so bomb. So I ordered those and then I also ordered another set. So I ordered the blue and gray set as well. So here's the tights. Same thing has her little diamond logo and then diamond fit down both legs and these ombre. So it goes from like this gray silver color to blue, which I love, and the sports bra. So each set comes with the sports bra and um, the tights. And they're both, they're super good quality, like stretchy. Um, I've worn this multiple times at the gym, washed them, it takes back its original shape. The elastic's really good. So I love those workout sets and I'm super proud of my cousin. So yeah, that was that. And then the last few things are wedding related, I think. Yeah, the last few things are like wedding related or, you know, engagement related. So one of the first things that I bought myself, <laughs> I bought myself an engagement gift, y'all. Um, after we had got back from Oklahoma, after we got engaged, um, I had placed this order. I really wanted like a ring dish or, first of all, I'm super obsessed with anything and everything, bride, fiance, wedding, like all of that. Um, so anyways, I got on Etsy and purchased this little ring dish. And it just says, I said yes. And then it has 12, 30, 18, which is the date we got engaged. And I love this. Like, I take my ring off when I shower, or wash dishes, you know, pretty much anything using my hands that I don't want my ring to be involved in. Um, I take it off, but I didn't want to just sit anywhere because I would be terrified. First of all, we have a dog and I could just see him trying to eat it or whatever. I don't know. So anyway, so I wanted a ring dish. So I got this one off Etsy and I'll try to link her shop down below. She was super easy um, to work with. She was quick, good response time, all of that. And then I actually ordered one for my friend cause we got engaged on the same day. And I was so excited that I ordered, um, I ordered both of them at the same time and not even thinking like, oh wait, I need to get them shipped to do two different addresses. Um, so the lady was like nice enough to, um, cancel the order and redo everything for me. Um, and so, yeah, she was really nice to work with. So I'll link her shop down below, but I love this ring dish and we'll probably get another one just so I can have more than one in the house, but I usually just leave it like, you know, somewhere safe. So I know where it is at all times. And then the next thing that I got myself, I had actually bought Xavier this first, um, Cause like right after we got engaged, he was like, he loves dad hats. And so I can't remember how the conversation came up, but he was like, yeah, if you give me a hat or he was like, I want a hat, you know, that says fiance, I will wear it or whatever. But however, the conversation went pretty much. He wanted a hat that said fiance cause he's just as excited as I am. So anyways, I ordered him a hat and after probably like last week or so, like two weeks ago, I was like, I want one. Cause like, I'm always wearing his hats when y'all yeah, don't feel like doing my hair for just going somewhere real quick. So I ordered me one and it says, has a girlfriend on there, then it has it crossed out and then it says fiance. But my only thing is it should have an extra E because you know, it's the feminine version of fiance, but whatever. So I love this hat, it's really good quality. I ordered it off of this website called Kings of New York, um, and I'll link their information down below too. And they ship they ship through Amazon, which is really cool, because that means I can use Prime and get it way faster. So yeah, this is a really good quality hat, and we actually um, took some some of our engagement pictures in these today, so that was super cute. And I'm almost done. So like I said, I love anything and everything wedding related so i'm always on pinterest and bridal groups and anything and everything but i wanted to um I'm, i want to have as much um not content but like as much experience and as trying out as many different brands and different things as i can just before i spend money on you know things like save the dates and invitations and stuff like that so Anybody that offers samples or something that I'm interested in, I definitely make sure to take advantage of that. 
and one of those websites is minted and they do um stationery you know the invitations and websites and all of that so anyways i signed up for this little free sample packet let me see if i can show it without everything falling out so it's like this really cute folder and it has all this stuff in there and this is a way this is a way for you to try them out pretty much before placing an or order through them so they send you um you know examples i don't know if you can see that examples of their cardstock and fonts and letterpress colors and just you know everything that they offer so they have all that information in there and then they also have like real examples of some of their products so little table cards and thank you cards which these are Really? Okay. So they even have these cute like um, thank you cards and RSV car RS RSVP cards, and they send them on like the different card stops so you can get a feel of their textures and envelopes that they can come in. Um, their invitations and like the different silhouettes you can get. And they even do like, um, they'll address your your envelopes for free. Like if you, you know, go with them or whatever, which I think is a really cool feature because that's a lot of work. And then they have this really cute one, y'all. I love this. Like, it's like embossed in there, super thick, which I'm sure it's expensive, but it's super nice. So anyways, they just have a bunch of, you know, different stuff in there. But I thought it was really cool how they how they will send you samples, you know, before you purchase it. Because if anybody knows or has looked into or made invitations or anything like that, that stuff is not cheap. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, I'm glad that they, you know, send this out so you can get a, you know, a sample of how everything will look. And they also included, I don't know if y'all can see that a coupon code in there for 15% off, which was super nice. Cause like I said, this whole thing was free. Um, they, I like didn't pay ship, like none of that. This was literally free and they sent me a 15% off thing. So I'm really curious to see, you know, their other designs and may even go with them for my paper needs for my wedding. And the last thing that I got is this wedding planner. So I had originally um, got a wedding planner from my mom and I had went to Michael's or Hobby Lobby, I think. I can't remember. But I think it was, I think I got it from Hobby Lobby. Babe! Babe! Baby! Did you call me? Yeah, you too loud. And no. Um, was this wedding planner? And like I said, my mom and I went to Hobby Lobby, Michaels, and I looked on Amazon for a few different ones and really just wanted something that had a bunch of details in it. So like timelines and, you know, was actually a resource, not just blank pages or full of stuff that I couldn't use. So anyways, the one that I got from Hobby Lobby, I literally had for probably about a week or so. And after like flipping through the pages, y'all probably can hear it didn't mean, but I need to finish this video. So like after flipping through the pages and like really looking through the binder, I was like, mm, this isn't really like what I need in a wedding planner. Um, so I kept like looking, I was watching videos about the different wedding planners. I was looking at, um, the one that the knot actually has but i have the knot app and so i was like i don't really want the knot app and the knot wedding you know physical wedding planner so anyways the point is i went through a lot of different thought processes 
of trying to find a wedding planner, excuse me, that would be effective and that was cute and, you know, excuse me, that had everything that I wanted in a wedding planner. So, anyways, I went to Barnes & Noble and they had a pretty big selection, but I ended up going with this one, number one, it caught my eye because it's gray and white and it has yellow, which is my favorite color. And um, after like sitting in Barnes and Noble and looking through it, so yeah, after looking, um, being in Barnes and Noble and like, you know, looking through it, it has just all these different tabs, which I liked. And then it gives so much information. So it gives like to-do list and calendar and literally a whole like checklist of stuff. But then it also has blank spaces and it's on paper you can write on. My other one that I have was on like this weird paper that I'm like, how am I supposed to write on this? Especially with a pencil because a lot of stuff will, you know, change. But it has a whole blank calendar, months at a, months at a glance. Um, and like I said, it just has so much information in it. And like has a budget template and invitation etiquette and it like gives examples. So this one was just so much more helpful than the other ones <laughs> hey ring um <laughs> so much more helpful than the other ones that i had looked at and just and it was just super cute so it has like a tire checklist and a whole day of timeline a family agenda contracts and how to handle those some extra resources. So this wedding planner is the bomb. What? Y'all, who told him? Okay, so dinner. No, ow. What? This little spoiled dog? No, ew. So yeah, that is everything that I have purchased recently. Um, like I said, some of this stuff is a few months back, not even a few months, probably like a month or so old, but everything, you know, is still <sighs> dinner. But yeah, so that is everything. I am waiting on um, some wedding related subscription boxes to come in so I can review those and unbox those every month. Things to come in so I can at least have those consistent videos to film. I need to film an update about teaching because, <sighs> yes, it's great, but it's a lot and y'all need to be updated. So yeah, Thanks for staying subscribed to my channel even though it's been like a month since I've uploaded. Um, and if you're not subscribed, make sure you do subscribe so you can see the next videos that are coming up on my channel. Make sure you like this video, comment, share it with anyone, everyone. Let them know, you know, what we're doing over here. Um, and yeah, also leave some suggestions or requests that you want to see on my channel coming up. I do have some things in mind, but like I said, I want to get videos out that you guys want to see and that other people would want to see, you know, that you think that that you may think would be helpful. Um, I have two videos that are doing really well on my channel right now. Um, so my channel is still growing, it's still doing well. So I do want to keep that content, you know, going since I know that is what the people like. Give the people what they want. So yeah, and I think that is it. I feel like I'm forgetting something because I put everything back up since I filmed this video last. But anyways, if I'm, if I am, stop. If I am, it's okay. But that is it. And I will see y'all in my next video.